Hello everybody and welcome back for another video today, quite a different one because uh, I got uh, for you uh, news for uh, V Rising that was released like minutes ago or something like that and I want to go with you to check it out what's gonna happen for 1.0 because it's like 8th of May and it's super close and I'm now on the brink of like should I play it right now before it will be released in three weeks and I'm so undeci undecisive because yeah I don't want to spoil myself and then go through the length once and then go twice so I don't know but I'm so so excited to go back to the game because this is the game that I really enjoy first of all let's go check out the trailer that you might seen uh, before because it's like uh, two weeks three weeks old and then we will go uh, to the update itself what is is going to happen for 1.0 and I can't wait so let's go for the trailer check it out uh, check it out together and then we will go from there I will give the like yeah, 1080 for centuries our castles lay forgotten in ruin our kind hidden in darkness Until now. Oh, baby. We will rise from the shadows. Their blood will become our power. It's time to drink. Vampires will conquer the night. And all who oppose us. Let's go! You who dare challenge my rule, defy my reign. And face devastation. Oh, <laughs> final no. boss. Let's go! So badass! The hunt begins. Made of eight. It's really, really close to be announced. Yeah, and uh, it's even for PS5. Where is it? be rising. All right, so that was the tri trailer for 1.0, and I'm so excited to go and kick and track to the ass. So let's go throughout the patch. What What is new? So world, ruins of Morchum. After forgotten centuries, the slumbering peace of domain of eternal night is punctured by the uh, marching of Dracula religion. Venture beyond the lands of man into shadows where ancient evil stirs. What? So there will be different like part of the world? I, I don't know. There is a world on the right side that was there from the beginning. It was like a sketch, but it never uh, was introduced. So maybe that's where it is or maybe it's just a different zone entirely. So I don't know. Conflict zone. Get your strength for war in the ruins of Morchum and the endgame region and introduce dynamic conflicts events to elevate your V-Rising experience. Engage in skirmishes against Dracula Legion of Nocturne and conquer rifts claim exclusive resources. Oh, that's so good. That's one thing that was really missing in V-Rising was something dynamic. Because when you went through that through that game there was nothing like happening no n I, I was like excited to go, go through the map right and there was like yeah there are like invasion near you or or uh there were soldiers marching through the lands and you can engage them something like that so this is kind of really good step in the direction uh that will go for the sustaining the players at the end game right there will dynamic like events that will be happening and also for pvp that people will go to that uh to those events to go uh, for resources and they will meet there and they will fight over it so that's a really good one so what do we have world improvements i love that 
experience new discoveries in Fairbane Woods. Yes, that's so good. Uh, dive into the heart of Vardon in the Dunley farmlands and um, underneath a legend of Dracula demise when the iconic vampire king was defeated centuries ago by Church of the Light. Okay, what else? Okay, th those are two uh, like screenshots. This is also really good. When was it released the first update, the, um, the Gloom Rot, right? I absolutely as was astonished that they haven't really introduced like endgame zone. So you, for the new players or our returning players uh, as I was, uh, you went through the first zone again, right? But everything was changed. There was like introduction of new stuff and uh, it was like really different experience and I really enjoyed it. So I'm glad that they're improving even the starting zone or they improving or introducing new stuff there. So you will be like going fresh kind of. So I like that. Cargo travelers, the ar uh, arrogant humans of Ferdinand and now traverse the world carrying precious cargo from location to location, satisfy a thirst for blood and valuable loot at the same time by intercepting their caravans and food your rice power. That's exactly again. Yeah, there will be like stuff going around and you will be able to go and hunt it down. And in PvP, uh, you will, those will be the things that you will be contesting, right? And that's really good. I love that. Wilderun comes to life. More love uh, has been put into the visuals of the world. The wilds have been sprinkled with touches of additional flavor and life. Enrich the settings on a new light engine. Let's us better craft the moods of all kinds of Wildoran. Okay, so so there will be a new lightning, and that's always that changed a lot. In in graphics, right? When you have a game, the lightning, just lightning, uh that will change a lot, like shadows and everything. So I, I feel that that will bring kind of uh, a lot of mood around. Look at that. Look at that. It looks really good. I'm so, so hyped to go back. So what else do we have? Gameplay. Shape your journey. New ways to play. We Rising now offers easy solution to choose your level of difficulty. You can now also choose the brutal experience designed for seasoned vampires to, uh, to test their wits against enemies and rebloods with new advanced techniques and exciting twists to spice up the journey. What? An experience focused on exploration, building and challenging combat. Relax. For those um, that favor exploration, building and more relaxed combat and brutal, face and de uh, devastating challenges in a world with evolved adversaries. So nice. Okay. All right. I'll take it. I'll take it. So the enemies, Dracula. Dracula has been binding this time and gathering his power in the depths of the Shadow Realm. His servants flood the land, gathering the blood that fuel his return. But Vardaran can only have an one apex predator right in the mor Morchum. A strike into the heart of Dracula Castle, pierce the Shadow Realm, and cut down his story greatest iron claim ultimate supremacy. So we will be fighting for the title of Dracula. <laughs> that's, that's so good. So, so lovely, right? That all those vampires try to beat themselves like uh, between each other to become the one and only Dracula, right? Uh, enemies, Dracula's a legion. So look at those. Look at those fiends. All right. They're looking nasty. Face off against new enemy, the fearsome Dracula in monster city of Legion of Nocturne. Battle with the mighty generals, the high echelon of Dracula's court. Elena the Hollow, used to the betrayer and volunteer depraved. Okay. Enemy Simon Belmont. Yeah, they introduced the Castlevania, legacy of the Castlevania. So we will have there a Belmont returning uh, to, to, to afraid. This is kind of cool. I lo love that. Prepare for the epic encounter with Simon Belmont as legendary vampire hunter who ventures into Wild Run. Uh, do you have in, uh, the courage to stand toe to with the heir of the Belmont clan? Master the powerful whip. So yeah, we will have new weapon whip, right? I, at least it, it seems like that, that we will be able to get the whip after we will beat him. Improved magic. Your mastery dark sorcery is more versatile than ever. Immerse yourself in the new found possibilities by unlocking spells in all, in the order that best suits your playstyle. You don't need with your clan and share a pop of well passive uh, magic bonuses. Okay. All right, I, I heard that they in, reintroduced the things that it, that's going on because before you had like uh, linear progression of the spells. You you kill the enemy, right? The V-blood or, or the powerful enemies and w some of them had abilities and you when you kill the enemy you would get 
your ability, right? And now the, you will be getting like points kind of something like that and you will be able to spend those points on whatever you like so for example you want to go for a lightning build or a blood build or or necromancy so you will be able to spend it that way and so that means that even at the beginning of the game there will be a lot more variety of the spells and uh, yeah there will be more uniqueness right from the get-go so that's a really good one i like that new weapons uh, draw your bow Oh, so that will be bow. String and pick up if your foes with pinpoint precision. Uh, or unfurl whip, uh, lash out of the enemies, so uh, whip also. An upper on the deadly grace. With brand new weapons at your disposal, there are more methods than uh, ever dish. Okay, so there is a bow and there is a, a whip. Interesting, I like that. I, I want to know what is the difference between bow and crossbow because crossbow is there. That is kind of a lot of weapon right now. Right now, combat new unique weapons. Conquer all obstacles when all new arsenal of apex legendary weapons. Each of them specifically tailored to different playstyle. Choose your armament. So yeah, you you collecting those uh, those fragments and you can uh, craft legendary sword. And each of them will have a different kind of thing. Look at that. Four axes instead of two. That's crazy. Because that's uh, that's ability of for the axe, right? That you will throw two axes, they will go to, um, forward and back. And uh, with this legendary one, you will be able to throw four instead of two. It, at least in seems so. So that's, that's, that's crazy. Cool. Okay. Ancestral weapon upgrades. No matter, no matter how you rise, never abandon your weapon of war. The Arsenal Forge now upgrades your legendary weapons to keep up with your progress. Meaning you never have to choose between a new tier of tool and your favorite set of blood drinking axes. Mm, so you will be able to upgrade your stuff. Weapon level. Oh. That's interesting, and that you can go up beyond that what you have before. I love that. Spider form. Skitter safety and the spider. Change your form to help you give your enemies the slip and protect yourself from a, a enemy watchful eye. At the burning ray of sunlight by hiding in the soil itself. Never be caught out in the war vulnerable again. Huh. Interesting. Do, uh, will you be able to move? Or you will uh, like uh, go underground and you will have to stay there? Which is kind of nice when you want to have, for example, pause. I, I can imagine this is kind of like you need to go, for example, a uh, toilet, right? Or rest, something like that. And you can burrow down and, and go somewhere. Or I don't know if other players will see you and will be able to attack you. Or is it... Uh, what what is the like what is the thing there right but i can imagine that this is a convenient tool for for some time because when you are out of the world and there is a sun you can't really stop on the on the one uh, one spot and be safe because it's turning around and it will just burn you right the sun so um, with this maybe it's just convenient tool to have a little bit easier in time to be in the world so we will see about that. Combat new armor. Elevate your vampire status with an uh, entirely new level of armor and equipment and get gear up to face the greatest threat of your rule yet. On your way to greatness, tailor your guardsmen uh, to your whims with a freshly variety of armor sets and an enhanced different st style of playstyle. Okay, so I don't know exactly what it is, but we got new new uh, item level, so it will be higher than it was before. That, that make kind of a lot of sense. There is still more stuff. Oh my god. That's so cool. Castle. Relocate your castle. Trap in your first home in Farbane. Now, using nothing more than little vampire magic, uh, you can move from any plot in the world, any other available one, and by laying down the framework and pressing a button. What? So you are able to relocate your castle, but... Uh... Like that's cool. It, at least it sounds absolutely amazing. But when you have like built castle and you you want to move it, the plot will be different, right? So maybe you will go through every single part of the castle and you will build it again. But you will, don't have to like build it like from the scratch. But you will use all the things that you already like have. So it will be easier to relocate yourself. So uh, yeah, that's kind of cool. I don't know when it will be like available, if it's like all the time or something like that, because uh, there was like the thing, you, you uh, when you spawn, right, some people would skip and go for a downly farmlands, 
uh, as like me, and they didn't go for far main woods. But the the traverse time at the beginning was kind of like bad, right? Because you had to go through everything, but you couldn't like set up your um, your base and just because uh, you wanted to go in the middle of the map, kind of to have advantage in the second second part or the second tier when uh, when uh, you would go for iron as well. Um, such. So maybe this will save the thing because you will go to Farbane, you will build your castle, which is the Palisades and something like that, and when you will be ready, you will move your castle in the middle of the map. I don't know uh, what exactly uh, this will import, but I, I kind of like that there is an option, right? Seamless item management. Please! Forge advanced station for crafting and massively increase speeds and enjoy multiple UI improvements and make the whole process much smoother. Thank God. This is the one of the things that, I don't know, it's, it's just debatable, right? I am the one that I would love to have my castle. I would love to have the, the boxes or, or the stashes, right, around the castle that makes sense. But I don't want to go to the crafting station, find out that I don't have, for example, wood, and run over the other side to, to the box, just to find out, okay, I, I have the wood. Now you return back to the crafting station. Oh my god, I forgot copper. So you're going back. So this management of the items in your inventory when you're crafting and you do stuff, it's taking a lot of time. So I would be glad if there would be like advanced stash, right, or something like magical, you will find it at the for example, in the middle of the game or something like that. And when you put things inside, it will automatically take the things from the stash. And maybe it would be just in the room. When you go and, and you place the, the forge uh, tiles on the ground and the whole, um, the whole room will be forged, right? So it will take only from those stashes, but you will not have to go back and forth. That would be amazing, but if they will go, uh, yeah, and that would be amazing for me. But there are people that I really enjoy the, the stuff that they did, micromanagement of the stash, stashes, and they, they really like to have the system, right? That they will introduce themselves the the system. They have this under control, and and they they like it that way because the the management is giving their extra level of of uh, like difficulty kind of and uh, some people like that so uh, if they will go for some middle ground they will improve the the things uh, that's going on in inventory I'm I'm down for it every single upgrade for inventory management I'm I'm really down for it so new castle decor uh, you will reflect your inter inner vampire to that and we providing you with even more decoration to show if your impact uh, impeccable and superior taste okay more more decor cool why not? Music player. Craft your music player and unlock the hundred melodies of Veldoran. Immerse yourself in found your music echoes through the corridors of your castle. Nice. I, I like that. This is just this is just a need. Uh, when you get to the point that you are really building the castle and, and you are spending the time within it, this is really cool. I like that. Small um, like thing, but it will have a huge impact. What else? Customization. Eternal elegance. Elegant, uh, elevate your vampire persona with enhanced customization option. Unleash your creativity or as your color dye your outfits while displaying any appearance you want with 10 plus new armor sets to mix and match however you like. Wow. Alright. Okay. That's kind of that's kind of cool. 10 sets and you will be able to do uh, mix and match. Cool. More customization, it's 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 really good. Because at the end, nobody will like look alike, and that's good to think. And then um, additional features, gameplay support. Okay, so you can play on the PS5, so you can now play on the um, PS controller on the, on the computer, which is nice. Some people really like that more than than uh, than PC itself, so it's good. It's finally here, introducing gameplay support for PC, offering new hands-on action pack, we rising experience, including range and heart, use interface graphics, especially for gamepad enthusiasts, ensuring seamless and immersive gameplay journey. Got it. Nice. Achievement system. Introducing Steam achievements and PlayStation trophies, conquer bosses, explore the map, reach pivotal progression milestones, and ultimately triumph over Dracula himself. Gear up, level up, and prepare rising glory. Are you ready to claim your victory? 
that's also nice as a 1.0. Why not to add achievements to, to, to hunt and, and fulfill everything that is, right? New music, they do Malagon Tones, Vampire in Runes of Mortium, Face Off against Simon Belmont and uh, with Family of Castlevania Tones, and Breaks also with uh, Epic Showdown against Dracula with uh, End Boss Symphonies. Cool, new music. And there is a premium pack, so you can uh, buy this uh, to support um, the developers. As you can see, there is a timeless majesty, so so bunch of stuff. The statues looks absolutely incredible. Look at that, the statues. Great. The shape shifting. So you have different kind of shape shifting forms. You get the wolf. You get um, you get this as a human form, and then you have this one as a frog form. So you don't want to be frog. You can have this guy <laughs> instead. Cosmetics. So a new um new uh, horse for you, and more um um more things for your character to have on your head, and. That's it, right? Secrets of Gloomrod. Yeah, last year update and we can just scroll through that again, but we don't have to because in three weeks or something, this will go 1.0 and I'm so goddamn excited. I really enjoy uh, this game because it's, it's a top down. The, the crafting is, is neat. Only thing that, that uh, people are like uh, iffy about is the time of crafting and, and guttering the um, gathering the materials but you can go and set up your own rules and you can for example double the amount of yield that you're getting and uh, so yeah but and the fighting is so top-notch it's just really cool to watch and i can't wait to to um to delve into this the boss fights and with with the with this opportunity to go for example for brutal so the every single boss maybe will be much harder and it will be just just amazing experience i think so yeah i am certainly will be playing this game and i decided that i will go for 24 hour stream at the day of release so on end uh, or 8 of may I will be streaming this game and I will go for 24 hour stream and I would love to get uh, at the end to kill Dracula in 24 hours, something like that. I don't know if that's even possible or not. Who knows what will happen, but that's the, that's the, that's the idea. So on the 8th of May, you can join me on YouTube, you can join me on Twitch and I will be streaming this game. It will be a lot of fun and let me know down below in the comment section if I should go for PvE and just focus on those bosses and on the brutal difficulty or should I go for PvP? Uh, yeah, so that's all for today's video. Hope you enjoyed this one, this uh, little announcement of V-Rising. And I will see you really, really soon. Meanwhile, you can click on the videos above me. You will get some gameplay of other games. Or you can wait for the 8th of May and you can join me there with V-Rising and we will build something uh, just enormous. So it will be gra grand. Okay, so that's all. Thank you very much. And I will see you next time. Peace.